Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another day of awesome learning right here with Mr. C. I'm so pumped up. Today is one of my favorite activities of the week that we had scheduled. We're going to be making oobleck, which is a non-Newtonian fluid. But before I get to that, I want to say that Mr. C Live is brought to you by and presented by the Dayton Metro Library. So thank you, Dayton Metro Library, for supporting us and to our friends at Think TV PBS. We're very excited to continue bringing this to all of our fans and our audience here in Ohio and across the world. So without further ado, let's get started. Oh, before I, before I, I have to do one thing. It is my daughter's 16th birthday today, so happy birthday, Jackie. If you're watching this later, I should have brought you on today to do the Bean Boozle. That's what we should have done next year, next year. But we're going to be working with non-Newtonian fluids. And you might be saying, what is a non-Newtonian fluid? And we're going to start with a Newtonian fluid. All right, so water is a Newtonian fluid. And basically what that means is that um, the viscosity of the fluid remains the same whether or not I'm applying a force to it. So, for example, it's a rule follower, it's a rule follower as Mrs. C says. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, so I have this golf ball. I almost said ping pong ball, but it's a golf ball. And if I put it into my fluid, it falls down. If I drop it, it falls down. It behaves the same way. Even when I'm applying a greater force or if I'm being gentle with it, it doesn't change the way it behaves. And so a non-Newtonian fluid is something that doesn't behave the same way when it is under pressure. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with something else so we have something to compare to. We have our water with our golf ball in it, but then I also brought along some ketchup. And if you're a ketchup fan, give us a shout out. I'm a huge ketchup fan, so I want to see it in the comments if you like ketchup. If you don't like ketchup, give us a shout out and tell us how much you don't like ketchup. If your fries in. Yeah. Oh, french fries, chicken nuggets, all that good stuff. All right, here we go. Brand new bottle of ketchup. Now, it's a little runny. Might be a bad example. I need to shake it up a little bit more. Oh, I can smell it. All right, here we go. I'm going to pour some ketchup into my container. <laughs> so what's interesting is the ketchup, we know that it's coming out as a liquid, but right now it's... I'm, putting, I'm applying a little bit of pressure so the bottle doesn't fall. But it's coming out really slow, right? So it wants to act like a solid. If we look at it in here, I hope Hunt's works. Hope it do, I hope this works for my experiment. I didn't try this because... Okay. So it wants to act like a solid. So we saw when we put this in here, it fell down into the water, right? But what we're going to do is we're going to try... The golf ball just sits in the ketchup. It's sinking slowly, because I think that's the consistency with the ketchup, but this here, this ketchup, wants to act like a solid when it's in the container. That's why we can tip a ketchup bottle over, and we have to apply force to get the ketchup to come out. So this is sheer thinning. When we apply force to the ketchup, it changes its state so that the ketchup actually begins to turn into more like a, a liquid like we're familiar with. It's like if I take a bottle of water and I turn it over, the water is just going to run out without any force being applied to it because water is a Newtonian fluid, the ketchup isn't. Now, what's really interesting, I want to do this, but I know I'm afraid I'm going to make a huge mess. That, that golf ball is sitting there. But what if I drop the golf ball in from a higher depth? Is it going to just sit there like this or is it going to go into the ketchup? Yeah, let's, we're going to try something. I'm actually going to, I have another tub here. I'm going to put the ketchup in this tub. No, turn it over. So it gets higher so you can see if it goes in. Ah, <laughs> uh, now it's uh, I was going to use it as a shield. All right, so there it's sitting. It's acting like a solid. If we apply more force to it, we saw what happened when we applied force to the ketchup bottle. The ketchup oozed out, acted more like a normal liquid, right? But what I can do is, I'm going to just, I don't want to, 
get this in this. That's what I'm afraid of. So if I drop it in three, two, one, <laughs> it actually submerged into the ketchup a little bit more. So the ketchup, as the force is applied to it, it kind of thins, it becomes less viscous. And so it allows the, the it allows, it allows the golf ball to go down. So the more viscous something is, it's thicker. Less viscous is thinner. This is less viscous than the ketchup. But when we apply pressure, ugh, I love ketchup, but that's gross. <laughs> When I apply more pressure, it goes into it. It sinks to the bottom of it, okay? So we're gonna let this sit in there. I think I have a I have a paper towel in my pocket. Ugh. It's not enough. I love ketchup, but that feels gross. Thank you. Alright. I don't want to throw this. I'm just going to toss this in the sink. And I'll clean that up later. There we go. All right. So the real question is, this is a Newtonian fluid. Behaves normally. So I can smack it. <laughs> Splatters water everywhere. This one, when I put the golf ball in it, it sits there. If I apply pressure, it's going to thin out for us, right? But what we're gonna do today is we are going to explore Ublek. And you're like, Ublek, what's Ublek? Ublek is a non-Newtonian fluid and it's super duper awesome. It's super duper cool and it's super duper easy to make. And I said super duper four times in the last 15 seconds. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna need some cornstarch. And I've already dumped some out into a container. Aren't these nice containers? <laughs> I usually don't get to use these, but I, I, I snuck them on, on set today. All right, so, and you're going to need a measuring cup and some water, all right? So first and foremost, we are going to take, the ratio is two cups of water to three cups of cornstarch. So I'm gonna do my cornstarch first. I'm just gonna level it off one, And this one, it does get messy because it sticks on everything, and it's, that's half the fun. It's so much fun to make a mess. Oh, and we've been getting some great pictures. Thank you so much for sending in pictures. There's three. I'm going to make, I think I have enough to do six cups. I want to make it a lot so we can see it. So that's what, four? Four. five, six, so I'm doubling, I'm doubling our recipe. I think this is gonna be big enough, the four cups of water. No? One, <laughs> two, three. That was a lot of work to get back to point A. All right, so we've got our three cups of water. Excuse me, we've got our three cups of cornstarch. I'm gonna use a different one, so it's not so. So I can use that for more cornstarch if I need it. So now I'm going to. How many cups are in your measuring cup? This is four, four cups. Mm -hmm. So I could pour out two, but I'm just gonna use this. So I'm gonna go one. Do we want to make it a color? No. Okay. One. Two. All right, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix it up. So what happens with this is once we get it mixed up, you'll see, I think we can get another batch in. I think it's, now they can see where we're at with it. Problem is, is I don't know if they can see all that mess from behind there. Yeah, I'll, I'll tip it here as we get it going. I've got to get all the cornstarch mixed in. Now, look at it. It's, it is. It's acting differently than our water. It's also acting differently than our ketchup. Oh, our doggy's not feeling good. 
He got into the trash yesterday. All right. So, I think we're close. Yeah, it's pretty mixed in. I'm trying to make sure that there's no powder left, no cornstarch. And if you are a baker at home, or you cook with your mom and your dad, sometimes you add cornstarch to food that you're making, right, to thicken it up. And that's kind of what we're doing. Actually, I'm gonna add just a little bit more because I might have scooped out, I might have scooped out more than three cups. Oh, that's so cool, look at that. All right, here we go. I'm about to get my hands in there. Things are about to get messy. So, what we have here is a non-Newtonian fluid. And, I'm going to just try to clean that so you guys can see it a little bit better. So, when we apply pressure to our water, it behaved the same way. It still splashed. When we dropped the golf ball in the water, it did the exact same thing. When we had our ketchup, the golf ball is still sitting in the ketchup. The ketchup's acting like a solid, and it's holding that golf ball there. When we applied pressure to our ketchup, it oozed out more like a liquid. But what I really think is cool about Ooh Black is that when, I'll just take the spoon for example. I'm just gonna take the spoon and I'm just gonna set it. Oh, you know what, we need more, we need more cornstarch. So if you're measuring with me at home, we're at like three and a half cups of cornstarch to our two cups of water. Every time we do an experiment in front of an audience, you never know what's gonna happen, ever. Sometimes it's gonna work perfectly, and then sometimes it doesn't. And when it doesn't, you're like, how do we fix it? And you just keep working at it. And that's half the fun of doing these experiments live with all of you, is that I know what it's supposed to do typically, but then sometimes it doesn't. All right, here we go. I'm gonna use this, I think you can see it better. Here is my measuring cup. I'm just gonna set it down and it starts to sink into my oobleck. Look at that. But when I try to apply a force and get it out, it gets stuck. Let's see, let's try this. It got sucked in. It's like quicksand. And then when I go to get it, I'm gonna pull it out gently, it comes back out and it oozes off. I don't know, it's, it might be hard to see what it's doing, but I think this will help. I'm gonna just drop it. So when I set this on here, watch, I'm gonna set the spoon on there, and it gets sucked in really quickly and easily. Oh, you know what? We can use the golf ball too. We'll use this, not the ketchup one. All right, so I'm gonna put the golf ball. The golf ball is going to obviously be taller than our batch of oobleck, but if I just set it in slowly, you remember what, it, what? Wait, you remember what it did in the ketchup when I sat it down? It just sat in it, but here, it submerges until it hits the bottom of our container. But when I try to pull out, it doesn't. And when I drop this in, it hits, and then it sinks in slowly. So I think what we're gonna do, I'm gonna migrate my oobleck into this container here, so it's a deeper dish, so I can get more in there. Ooh, look at it. That is so awesome. It's acting like a liquid. Do you see that? It's just flowing out and flowing into our container. That is so cool. Got a little bit. We got a couple chunks. There we go. Come on, Ooh. Ooblek. We've got some friends on here. Can we say this morning good morning and hello to... St. John's Early Childhood Program. Hi, St. John's Early Childhood Program. Thanks for joining us. We're making oobleck. Oh, look at this. Did you see it? All right, here we go. This is where it gets fun. This is where oobleck gets fun. 
you can take this and you can literally put your hand into it nice and slow and it just sinks in and you can pull it back out or you can hit it <laughs> and I'm hitting it pretty hard but my hand doesn't sink into it when I hit it hard when I apply pressure the oobleck solidifies when I apply pressure to the ketchup with the golf ball the ketchup got thinner this gets thicker and watch I can dip my finger in and when I apply a force to try to pull it out quickly it gets stuck watch see that Ugh. And literally, I'm just tapping on the top like a drum. Wipe out. All right, so I brought this along too. I want to try this. So this hammer, if I put it in, I'm going to set it in slowly. It just sinks in. And when I pull it out, it comes out with a little bit of force. Not too much of a problem. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this with a hammer. <laughs> That's so cool. I've never hit I've never done this with a hammer before. And then I can look at that. I'm applying a lot of force. And it's not imagine if I did that to the ketchup. <laughs> it would just be like boosh, boosh. I would just be covered in it. I know what you're thinking. Do that with the ketchup, Mr. C. I can't do that inside. Maybe outside, we can shoot a video, do something in slow motion. But this is cool, so even if you don't have a hammer with you to hit the oobleck, you've got your own muscle power. And just take some oobleck out. It's hard to pick up on this little... I'm trying to... I can't get enough in my hand. Yeah, I, I think in the bigger container now. Do I need to move it back? Oh my gosh. I'm not going to be able to touch anything. All right, so if you're doing this at home, you're definitely... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to get... It settles to the... It settles to the bottom. Hold on, I got to move this over here. <laughs> Making a mess. It is the best. Having some fun with everyone. It is the best. Doot. What time is it? It's science time. We're having fun. We've got the oobleck. Make it everyone. Send in your pictures. Let us see. The oobleck that you made for you and me. Doom, 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 doom. All right, here we go. We are making a mess. Where do you want me to move it, Mr. C? Push it out. So we Push it out? Yeah, there you then go. Then do that. Because <laughs> you're like this way. I'm like... We're like dancing back here. <laughs> all right, here we go. I'm going to pull some of this out. It's all on the bottom. I'm going to get a nice big glob of it. I'm going to try. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to try to, if I apply pressure to it, I can roll it like a ball. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to show you something. So I got it going like a ball. And literally, when I stop applying pressure, it turns into a liquid. That is so cool. And that is all because this is a non-Newtonian fluid and this is something you can do at home and if you put it in a container like I have here it's me it's just it's mesmerizing but if you put it in a container like I have here you can store it for a couple of days just like with the slime when you make this before you play with it always wash your hands so that you don't get dirt and grime in it and when you're done always wash your hands so that you don't get dirt and grime so you, you know your hands are clean but then you'll be able to use it for a longer time It, it's like the bottom lifts up like a solid and then the moment I touch it, I, I just can't even grab it fast enough. There we go. Squeezing, I'm squeezing, I'm squeezing, I'm rolling. Oh, it's like all over the... Yeah, I think it just shot. Huh? Did, did you it, see it? Did it get on the camera? No, it's not. I don't think it's on the camera. If it is, it's okay. That's your phone. <laughs> all right, here we go. I love it when it does this. Oh, it's so awesome. You can also color your oobleck. Um, but then it gets all over everything. It's harder to clean up. But if you're going to color it, my recommendation is to color it, color the water before you apply it to the cornstarch, just so that it's already mixed and then it'll become the color you want it to be. Because but this way it's just okay. cornstarch and water. That's easy. Yeah. This is so much fun. Of that kind of mess. Mom's approve of this kind of mess? Yeah, it's easy to clean. 
All right, moms, if you're out there and you approve of this mess, let us know. All right, here we go. I just love it when you when you put a. Oh, it's like shooting everywhere. This is my favorite. When you roll it, look, I'm trying to get it to a ball, and then just. It just literally pours out. So I want you guys to try this at home. All my little scientists out there, all the boys and girls who are watching this who are saying, I want to make that, I want you to make this. Ask your parents for permission, get some cornstarch. Uh, this was what, three-ish cups, three and a half. I added a little bit more. Um, you can always try your own ratios. You know, what is the best cornstarch recipe you can create? And then share that with us. This one feels a little bit runny, like maybe a little more cornstarch would be helpful, but it does the trick. Look at that. It's a liquid and it's a solid. I don't think anything gets cooler than this. Oh. Ooh, that was gross. It looked like little snakes coming off my hands.